got that. He found that he was one. I uh, let me don't want to miss where I was. I'll just read that again. The word ignorantly gives a sense of lacking the proper knowledge of the matter. He looked at the law as a means to an end, failing to see that Christ is the end of the law. His efforts were intended to please God through the law and through destroying those who were not in conformity with it. He was trying to uphold the law. That's what he was doing, but he was doing it as incorrectly because Christ had ended the law. But he found that he was the one who was in the wrong. It was those he persecuted who were adhering to the fulfilled law. They, not the others. When a Mormon comes up to you and says, you're not going to go to heaven because you're not doing this and that and one thing according to the law of Moses, you say, you're the one that's offending God. Okay? Say it to anybody. Seventh-day Adventist, that Hebrew Roots guy that emailed me a while ago and told me that all these people are offending God by their actions because they're trying to do what Christ has already done. It's already done. Don't do that. Okay? So, um, Paul's words here are contemplated by some to indicate that ignorance of the law will lead to a mitigation of the punishment. That's what he was asking right there. Or even complete forgiveness of the penalty for the infractions of the law. This is not Paul's intent here. I just explained to you what this means, okay? Though it is true that those who sin in ignorance may receive a lessening of punishment, and Jesus says that, those who know to do right and don't do it, they'll get beat with many stripes, and those who don't know, okay, you know that verse, right? That's somebody that is under law that is trying to <clears throat> live under law and he's doing something ignorantly. That's a different thing completely than what Paul is speaking of here. We are under grace. We don't want to use grace as license and beat up our little brother. Okay, so um, you're not going to go to hell for it, but he's going to have a sore body and you're going to lose rewards. That's what's going to happen. Okay. Um, though it is true that those who sin in ignorance may receive a lessening punishment, it is not true that one will stand guiltless for ignorant violations of the law. You are guilty. You are guilty before the law, okay? Even the Old Testament had that. Sin's done in ignorance. And what do you do? When you find out that you've sinned, then you have to go sacrifice, meaning that you've done wrong, okay? So there atonement here, atonement of sin must be granted, and that can only be found in Christ the Lord. Only. People that, you know, John Hagee, Jews are saved through adherence to the law of Moses. It's okay. We don't need to evangelize them. The Catholic Church, which holds to that same stand, they are condemning people by not telling them the truth. They're actively condemning people by not evangelizing them and saying that you can be saved through the law of Moses. You cannot be. The people under the law were only anticipating Christ through faith. And if they weren't, then they, they were doing things they shouldn't be doing, and the Day of Atonement had no effect on them at all. All right? Those uh, atonement of sin must be granted, and that can only be found in Christ. Those not covered in Christ will be judged accordingly. Life application. <laughs>